Hello. So I started working on the linear bearings for my carbon arc furnace and it's just made with pretty much off-the-shelf components. So this is some 2 inch by 2 inch 1 8 inch wall 6061 aluminum tube and uh, these are pretty much uh, skateboard or rollerblade bearings. They're ABEC 9 from BSB and I got them a couple years ago from a sporting goods store and this is just some um, three quarter inch by three quarter inch uh, one sixteenth inch wall 6061 aluminum tube and this is five sixteenths uh, threaded rod uh, washers lock washers and nuts and this threaded rod five sixteenths matches the ID of the inner race on these uh, ball bearings so instead of doing something fancy with specialty uh, CNC type rail and linear bearings I just came up with this and uh, after I came up with this design in my head some internet searching showed some other people were using a similar approach for other projects so each one of these aluminum <clears throat> square tubes is cut and drilled exactly the same which made it pretty easy to set up a jig in a uh, a drill press milling machine so you can see on on one side two of the holes are spaced farther apart and 90 degrees to that on the other side the two holes are spaced closer together and that makes them all interchangeable with each other so this threaded rod right here is farther out and does not hit the threaded rod running the other direction and on three sides there are just two ball bearings but on the side that's going to have the arm that holds the carbon electrode I was going to put four just to give it some more lateral stability I'm not even sure if it needs it uh, but I ran out of hardware so that's why there's only a single ball bearing at this end but the cool thing is how <laughs> how adjustable and how tight you can get this set up so you can I mean these are all just finger tight but you can snug it up in every direction so you can see how tight it is I mean, it doesn't even it doesn't continue rolling on its own it's so tight and I'm not sure if you can see right through here but these tubes aren't actually contacting anything because the three quarter inches of these tubes is just slightly less than the diameter of these ball bearings so there's no there's nothing dragging this is all just uh, the internal internal resistance of the ball bearings so that is ridiculously smooth with with no play and you can see that you can't hear anything there's no slop. So, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out.